so now we have a bit tricky question for us a very interesting one if a triangle and a parallelogram are on the same base and between the same parallel then prove that the area of a triangle is half the area of the parallelogram yeah and in this question there is no diagram given so we have to make our own diagram so let's first do that so we are told that there is a triangle and a parallelogram with the same base and between the same parallel so we have drawn that and whenever we draw a diagram we have to not forget to mark the points so let the parallelogram be ABCD and the triangle be ABF so now we have to answer the question we have to prove that this triangle has half the area as that of this parallelogram and do you think it's right yeah it is right it's right because the area of this parallelogram is given as base into height right and the area of this triangle is given as half into base into height and you can see both have the same height because they are lying between the same parallels and they also have the same base so it is true this is base into height this is half into base into height so the area of triangle is half of that of the parallelogram and it doesn't matter where the triangle is right if you draw it here or here everywhere the height and the base as long as they are same the area is same but we actually have to prove that mathematically and that seems a bit tricky right like how to start or where to start we have no clue right the only thing that we know is if we have two parallelograms between the same base and same parallel we can find their areas so what to do with this question well in the introduction part of this chapter we actually saw what to do or we have some idea like we know that if we keep two triangles back to back we get a parallelogram like if you take the same triangle and just invert it and keep it here you will get a parallelogram okay we'll see that in the question let's start answering so let triangle ABF and parallelogram ABCD lie between the same base AB and between the same parallels AB and CD and this is actually an introductory statement in which we are explaining the diagram we just made and this is necessary because the diagram was not the part of a question so we made the diagram so we explained that and now we move to the answer that is what to prove so we have to prove area triangle ABF is equal to half of the area of ABCD now what we have to do is we have to find the parallelogram that is associated with this triangle that is we draw two lines one is drawn parallel to this line AF and one line is drawn parallel to this line AB two sides of the triangle so that we get the parallelogram that is associated with this triangle okay so to write this down construct BE parallel AF that is this is AF right so draw a line parallel to AF and this meeting point is what we call E let it meet CD at E and extend CD also we have to extend this line CD to meet AF at a point F okay so that ABEF is now a parallelogram right because we draw this line parallel to this and this line parallel to this the resulting figure would be a parallelogram so this is the first part so now I hope you are getting some idea right we have two triangles which look almost the same and you know like they can be proved to be congruent these two triangles we can prove them as congruent 
If we prove them congruent, we can say these both will have the same area. If they both have the same area, then what else we know? We know that these two parallelograms, the new parallelogram that we just considered, constructed, A, B, E, F and A, B, C, D are between the same parallels and having the same base. So they two should have the same area. So A, B, E, F and A, B, C, D have the same area. And the area of A, B, E, F can be written as two times the area of this triangle, right? Because this triangle and this triangle have the same area. And those are what make up the parallelogram. So we can write them as two times area A, B, F. And we get the answer. So that's our step. And we'll do that right now. So first what we have to do? We have to prove these two triangles are congruent. Okay, so we know BF is equal to BF because this is a common side. And now we have some angles that are equal, right? Since these two lines are parallel and this will act like a transversal. So we can say this angle, which is angle ABF, right? And this angle, which is BFE are going to be equal because they are alternate interior angles and don't forget to put this like the reason okay and now similarly we can also say this angle which is angle AFB is equal to angle FBE or EBF why because again these two lines are parallel and this is the transversal so these two angles would be equal. So what all we so we know so we have this angle being equal to another angle, this side being equal to this side, and so here we have an A S A congruency. Okay, so by that we can say triangle A B F is congruent to triangle E F B. And always remember that you have to write the corresponding parts properly. In the beginning, you can write it in any order, no problem. But in the end, when you put the congruency sign, there A, B, F should be congruent to E, F, B. Now, now what? So now that we know these two triangles are equal, I mean congruent, we can say that their areas are equal and now it is simple right so we know that this parallelogram a b e f and this parallelogram a b c d are lying between the same base and between the same parallel so their areas should be equal okay and and we can split one of this area we can split the area a b e f as area ABF that is this triangle plus area of this triangle area EFB and since these two areas are equal we just now proved we can add that these two are equal right so it would be two times area of ABF now now we are yeah we are there so the final step area of ABF is half times half of area of ABCD. So that's the answer. We proved it and that was a long way through, right? But I hope you got the intuition right. Like the idea was simple. We have to convert this triangle into a parallelogram that is a triangle is always half of a parallelogram half of some parallelogram and this is in general like everywhere where you see a triangle you can convert it into a parallelogram and wherever you see, you see a parallelogram you may draw a diagonal and divide it into two triangles for simplicity like maybe there are questions where you have to do that so I hope you understood the answer to this question. 
but i think you need to know more about this type of questions so these are some figures which all are just some modifications of the previous question and all these have to be approached in the same way and everywhere it is true that the area of the triangle is half the area of the parallelogram the diagrams may look complicated at times but the idea is same everywhere what you have to do is we have to find the associated parallelogram of the triangle so here this is the triangle we can draw a parallel here and a parallel here to get the associated parallelogram and again as you can see this triangle and this triangle are congruent you can prove that then the same procedure goes and so it goes here here the parallelogram associated would be like this you, ha you just have to find that and that is also not so tough right draw a line parallel to one side draw a line parallel to the other side it's done okay and now what now let's see this one here also this is the triangle and we can draw two parallels to find the associated parallelogram and after finding the associated parallelogram you can see this parallelogram and this parallelogram are lying between the same base and between the same parallel they have the same area and yeah the same pr procedure goes and here as well this is the associated parallelogram this is just a twisted figure of this one same thing yeah so that's the answer to this question and hope you got some knowledge we'll meet in the next video